here with Netta. Okay, now, now, what do you think about this shirt? It was, it was a big process to decide which one. Yeah. I kept saying to Roya, no, these all look girly. I can't wear the diet one. She's like, no, the get the... The green one's made for guys. That's what she said, but I don't... Like, maybe not my kind of guy. <laughs> I will make more for guys, okay? I promise. I promise. But this looks awesome on you, so yeah, keep rocking. Logo, right? why, 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 get, why get one that doesn't have the logo on it? Exactly. We're trying to sell t-shirts here. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, so tell me, I, I told you last night it is the darkest day in reality TV history. I feel like the sun has come up, but I still feel like it's the darkest day in reality again. Has it sunk in, and what went wrong, and why can I never watch another episode of Big Brother Canada 2 again without feelings of total pain? The sun has not come up. It will never come up. It's going to die. It's burst into flames, and it's in ashes now, and it is dead. The sun is dead. Like, I don't know. Uh, I did not have, like, a wink of sleep last night because I just kept overanalyzing everything I could have done to win this game instead of losing it, and uh, it's sucks I don't know it sucks I don't know if I'm going to be able to like I already watched the finale episode too because I couldn't sleep that's all I was doing is was watching stuff and being like where did I go wrong it sucks you know uh Roya came up to us before the show started and she's like okay you got you're the expert is she gonna win you know what I told her what? I'm like there is absolutely no way she loses I'm like if she goes against Sabrina she won if she goes against John she won if she goes against like anyone she wins so what do you think went wrong? Was it just this overestimation about John's loyalty? It was definitely, I thought that John was much more of an emotional player than he was. I think he smartened up in the last few days and made the smartest decision. And it's weird because he hasn't made his own decisions in the past. So I was shocked by that. I thought that he was going to do what, exactly what we had planned on doing. And it was, it was a shocking thing. But I mean, I applaud him for actually making a decision on his own. <laughs> um, do you think that you could have done more? I mean, I felt like this is the way that I sort of convinced myself that, you know, maybe this was meant to be, even though I don't really believe it is, it was two trivia things in the final HOH. And I'm like, this is cut for Netta. I'm like, two trivia things. I'm like, okay, she's not going to win part one. She's definitely going to win part two, definitely going to win part three. Since when did John become like an A student in Big Brother trivia? Okay, John has actually been very good at trivia this entire time, but most of the HOHs that he hasn't competed in have been trivia, so no one's really seen it. Or he's thrown them in the past. So I know when I was studying, I was studying all the trivia with him, and he was helping me a lot actually with it. So I knew as soon as those questions started, and they weren't the typical final round type of questions, I knew he had it in the bank, and I knew I had to get to that tiebreaker question in order for me to stand a chance, because I knew he was going to get every single one right. So as soon as I got that one wrong, I can't even remember what the question was. I just, my mind blanked out, I got it wrong, and I knew in that moment that I had lost. And I still, I had a, I had a glimmer of hope. I'm like, oh, John's still taking me, it's not so bad. And then when he actually won, and the hug that he gave me, I knew it wasn't his normal type of hug, and that's when I knew he wasn't taking me to the end. You know, in the end, I feel like it's almost poetic. It's almost like a Shakespeare play because, like, the super fan got killed on trivia. You know, like, it was the HOH that Sabrina won and you lost in the tiebreaker. Now it was this final HOH. Do you think it's almost, like, cosmic? You know, like, I felt like at least if you went out on endurance, you know, I could, like, accept it a little bit no. more. But the fact that you went out on trivia is really burning a hole in my soul. God hates me is what it is. Like, God hates me. The universe hates me. I think everyone, like Santa Claus and God and Jesus, they all conspire together to make me lose this game. Like, I don't know. Okay, endurance. I actually thought that I stood a chance of winning endurance. But that wasn't an endurance challenge. That was a pure physical boat challenge made for John. Not made for John, but clearly John was going to win that. You know what I mean? So, like, endurance, I did stand a chance. Trivia, oh, I thought I had it in the bag, too. But when have you ever seen a final round be trivia like that before? Right? The board game one. The board game, yeah, that was crazy, right? Like, it didn't have any type of physical in it at all. It's, it, it, They're doing everything that they haven't done before, which is amazing. That's why this season was so good. Oh, it hurts my heart so bad that I lost that, though. It hurts, because I know if I had just been in the proper state of mind, if I was just thinking properly, I would have gotten those questions right. You know, I was evaluating your game versus all of the best players. You know, there's, like, Will, and there's Dan, and there's Danielle Reyes. And I felt like the only sort of argument to, like, you, like, where I sort of put you in, like, the three and four position yeah. is because the vote that sent Paul home, you were on the outside of that vote, right? Didn't have a clue that Sarah was going to flip. Was that the moment where you sort of took control? The fact that Paul went home and you're like, all right, yeah. now i got to show these people how to play. 
I knew Sarah was going to vote out Paul. Um, Sarah told me about five minutes beforehand, but the whole week leading up to it, I knew that Sarah was going to be the one that flipped. So I was trying to get her not to flip. Um, John was pretty much leading me on to believe that Sarah was going to flip, but I just decided to go with it because I thought it would look bad on Sarah, and I thought that uh, you know the girls would turn on her, blah, 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 blah. So I just thought at that point it was a smart game move to whatever, just do that. Um, but yes, I would agree at that point, that's when I'm like, I'm totally breaking off from the girls. Yeah. I'm gonna go, you know, create my own thing now. Cause my whole thing had been to position myself as strongly as possible. And I'm like, clearly this isn't working with the girls. They're not very loyal at all. Nothing's working with these people. So then th that's when I branched out and I started like with Adele and with John Moore and that did help my game a lot. Who was responsible for the sloppy seconds? Was it you or was it Adele? Adele, what? Adele <laughs> says he's the one who put it all together. Yeah, Adele, you think you created sloppy seconds? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> no, okay, this is what happened. It was me and Adele had a thing from the very beginning. Um, we were just like very good friends. We had this bond going on. Me and Heather took a little bit of a break in our friendship, and then we kind of came together with our mutual hate of the people in the first five like Andrew and stuff so I think it was a mutual hatred of the other people in the house that really brought us all together me and John were already really tight me and Adele were really tight Adele and John were tight so I think it was like a very natural thing that came together and then we just kind of needed Arlie to make sure that he flipped so we could send home those people but Arlie likes to take credit for the sloppy seconds well I think everybody I think everybody does as a fan of the show do you like sort of seeing these alliances that are like melting pots based on what other people are doing or do you prefer active players the brigade, the horsemen, the moving company who like sort of come in and take and well, I mean, yeah. you know, they did it. It just didn't work. But yeah. you know what I mean, right? Like, is it better to be a reactionary player or an active player? Oh, my goodness. I think it's both. You need to be both depending on how the house is, right? Like, don't be stupid. Don't make an alliance within the first five minutes you're in this house. You don't know who these people are. Why are you making an alliance with them? Like, they could be so bad at this game, completely ruin you. First five was the stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. It worked for a couple of weeks. They weren't thinking long term. But I do think that like brigade worked really well because they stuck together they were you know taking control of the house but i also think that sloppy seconds was a good one because we were reacting to what was happening in the house so it just really depends on what's going on in the house you can't have very, like a solid strategy coming in here you gotta just see who the people are but don't make an alliance within the first five minutes that's so stupid right. yeah. first five in the first five minutes i gotta tell you okay everybody was like when the season started robin came on the show and she's like mertz what do you think about the cast and i said I'm picking Netta. I'm putting the whole house on Netta. And she's like, why? You know what I said? Why? I'm like, she's the only one who already follows me on Twitter. This girl already, she must know the game. And Robin's like, you're such an idiot. Is that the only reason you're picking? And I'm like, well, you know, we've got the Brown connection. She's hot. She follows me on Twitter. And last night, you know how Robin is, right? Robin's like, Robin. oh, some reality expert you are. She said that to you last night? She, like, Robin. in fun, in fun. She, Robin! I know. Well, I, I think I still that made a good so pick. Close winning. That's so funny. Me and Adele actually bonded because we're like, we're both brown. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, funny. What, that's yeah. what AJ and Anil should have done. Yeah, right? right? It would have worked. Oh, God. I don't know what went wrong in this game. I don't know. But yes, I agree. I think being a super fan actually really did help me in this game. Um, it was really hard to freaking hide, though. And oh, my God, it pisses me off so bad when Sabrina says that she's a super fan. And she thought that freaking Rachel Riley's first season was season 10. And she called Brendan the wrong and, name. Yes. And she thought that Will wasn't even on all stars I'm like what I'm like you can't call yourself a super fan oh and I had to bite my tongue the entire game I would go into DR and just rant like go on these crazy rants I'm like you don't know anything don't call yourself a super fan if you don't know True. thank you okay all yes right. and, and, and <laughs> my and my final question is have you talked to John have you shot him the death stare after the announcement was made like what is the relationship like with John and Netta it is Netta J Jetta, <laughs> Jetta. It is tense. Um, like I said, I can't hold a grudge against them. We have talked. I've cried a lot, um, but I'm not going to hold a grudge against them. I'm going to be very, very angry for a very long time. He better buy me a lot of nice gifts, but I can't be angry at him. Amazing. <laughs> Netta, it's a, it's, a bad, it's, a, it's a sad day. I know. It's we'll a, it's, together yeah, it is a, it's a very sad day, but hopefully we'll both get over it. I feel like it's going to take me longer than you. No, it's, I'm never getting over this, oh, ever. Yeah, yeah, look, is that why you're wearing black? Yes, yeah, this is why I'm dressed in black <laughs> for my funeral. Like. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you.